Did you run into problems driving on the Skyway today? Well, a big, and I mean big, construction project is underway for the next several months, and it is really confusing for a lot of people to understand. Luckily, we have got two on your sides, Jackie Roberts, tonight to break down what you need to know. For many South Towners, the confusion heading into downtown Buffalo might bring back memories from last summer. Friday, phase two of Skyway construction began. This time around, it's the outbound lane closed for deck repairs. It's a necessary evil for us to maintain our infrastructure. The inbound Skyway bridge will still be in use on weekday mornings, accommodating drivers heading into the city, and then in the afternoons, accommodating drivers leaving the city. On the weekends, the inbound side will be left open only for outbound traffic. People tend to stagger when they arrive at events, but everyone leaves at the same time. So we're going to let that bridge carry that peak traffic all weekend long. Surday says drivers will be alerted of the changes throughout their commute. Follow the detour signs and you're either going to be accommodated on the open Skyway Bridge or you're going to be detoured on local routes. We tried out a few of those alternative routes. We started on Tiff Street, stayed on Route 5 until we were detoured onto Ohio Street and eventually got on the 190. In total, it took about 19 minutes to get to the foot of the Skyway. And for drivers getting rerouted away from the Skyway, many are heading into another construction zone on the 90. That's unfortunate that the two projects um, are going hand in hand, but um, again, that was the case last year and drivers adjusted. You can see work underway here, just past the Lackawanna toll booths. Surday says the best piece of advice is to be patient. Our goal is safety and we really want to make sure our crews get home safe at the end of their shift and that the traveling public arrives at their destination safely. The project was originally slated for two and a half years, but based on last year's progressive timeline, now crews anticipate phase two will be wrapped up this fall. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.